In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Relight node with the uh, position pass and the uh, normal pass in Argon. So, to begin with, I uh, had set up this simple thing scene uh, that you can download from the description below. Um, the only thing that you have to do here in Arnold is just to activate the position pass, which is the P pass, and the uh, normal pass. Uh, to make the normal pass, you don't have uh, already set up pass here in the OBs. You have to create a custom pass. I'll name it normal pass, normal, and uh, create a new shader, selecting the pass that I've created in adding it uh, AI utility shader I'll change the shade mode from ND to OTI to flat so I can have a, a flat color and in the color mode I will change to normal now that I have set up these two passes, I can make uh, the render a EXR, EXR in floating point. I already rendered those, uh, that rendered, and uh, I have it here. So, in order to use them in, for relighting, I will create, first of all, a 3D scene that I can uh, position the 3D light in the scene just for visualization. To do that, I will make a, a position to point create. So this node, what it's gonna do is create a virtual representation 3D space of the 2D image using the normal and uh, the position pass. Mm, I have it here. I just have to search where is it. And there you go. Um, so, using the normal and the position, Nuke is uh, able to recreate this uh, representation in 3D space of the 2D, of the 2D image. And uh, now I can create a scene node and a light that I can plug in into the scene and start adjusting the position of the light. So you can you can tell that the light is affecting the intensity of the of the 2D image, the color of the 2D image. But uh, we cannot use this. We, this is only for visualizing the 3D space and the position of the light. We now we need this uh, information in a, in a 2D space. So to do this we're gonna create a relight node plug the color to the image and switch from and uh, um, select the normal vectors and the position pass. We also gonna have to plug in the light and as soon as we do it we're gonna have another uh, input which is for the camera now I have ex already exported the camera and I have it right here so I can copy this here paste it here 
So I just exported an Alembic, an Alembic from, from Maya. So now I have a, a 2D image that I can um, use. Now, the only thing that I'm missing here is a material. So we can uh, use a specular material so now we can tell that the light is affecting only these areas we can go back to our 3d scene and reposition the light so now we have an interactive way of Relighting in in Nuke without having to go back to 3D. Finally, if we want to combine this uh, with the beauty, we could just create a merge node. And uh, lock the two images together. I'm going to change the operation to screen. Now we have like a specular added to the image. We can increase the intensity of the light if we, if we want more visible result. And the best part of it is that it's totally interactive. We can move the light around make green lights and do other cool stuff to the image in post-production.